were able to translate it and do some of those same things out here tonight. Oh, out of practice yeah, against, practice. yeah. Yeah, because you were all jacked up then. Yes. But, I mean, yeah. to really do it in a game, that's that, got to be. That's exactly right, you know. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard when we do that because our, our defense runs such a different scheme than the team that we're playing you know, that week. So I try to run the plays that we're going to run in, in the game against our defense, which sometimes, that's why I get so excited when they work, because sometimes they're not supposed to, but you know what I mean? And so, uh, but I thought we had a great plan and the assistant coaches, man, just did such a phenomenal job getting the guys ready to play. The, their run defense was so good this season to this point. Did you think that something like that was possible? I, I, I looked at the, I, I, just, I don't even know what to say. I, I had no idea that we could do that. You know, um, uh, coming into the game, I knew it was going to be hard. We talked about it being hard. We talked about it being a six to three game and, and going all the way down to the last drive. We talked about all that stuff. I never in my wildest dreams thought it was going to be, what, 38 20 and, and rush for. What did we do? Rest for uh, close to 200 yards. Uh, over, over, yeah, over, over 200. Yeah. So I mean, wow. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, 251 with uh, 25 first downs. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that just what's got, what's going on now with the line and Eno kind of the combination is just that effective at this point? Yeah, you know, and I think that we have a, quite a volume. And our, our run game is not just like if you look at it, we're not just running zone. And we're not just running like outside zone, we're running power counter zone, outside zone, uh, all kinds of different schemes. We're, we're just, we got so much stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. Uh, we, have, we have so much volume, it does make it tough on, on guys defending us in the run game. That interception notwithstanding, it seemed like Wilkins played really well. He really did. He managed the game, you know, and. Uh, he was uh, he was doing better than I was after that interception. I'll tell you that. So I'm proud of him for keeping his poise. Um, but you know that was just a, a kind of a mistake that he usually doesn't make. And so, but he kept his head and got on the phones with me right after that. He said, Coach, trust me. I know what I did wrong. It won't happen again. Let's let's just keep this thing rolling. It was just like nothing ever happened. So maybe, maybe kind of flying under the radar, but Kyle Williams, I thought had like his best game this year. Yes, he did. He he played good, and, and we had a. a, a, a we had an effort in our game plan to get him the ball more. There was even some things in here I didn't even get a chance to call that were going to go to him. Uh, we had a shallow cross to him, which hit. This was great. Um, and just, yeah, man, just thank God. We're, it's very fortunate right now. We're hitting all of the things that we're working on in, in the games, like you were saying. And Brandon Ayu, too. Yes. I mean, you've been kind of waiting for him to have a breakthrough. I have been since he's been here because I, I knew type of player, you know, when we – uh, when we watch this film, what he could do. He, he's a really, really good player. He's, and he's from junior college, and it usually takes a guys a year. But you watch and see, he's just going to keep doing this. And um, uh, he had, yeah, he had a great game. That, and it started with that screen that got us kind of rolling a little bit. There it was a big play, got everybody excited, ready to go. Rob, what does it say about Kyle, who is not on pace to put up the numbers he put up last year, but on that 161 yard touchdown from the keel, he has a huge block. Last week, on punt return, he has a huge block. What yes. Does it say about Man, it's just like it, he always affects the game. Whether you know the the normal fan sees it, uh, you know, but but making blocks and his effort, um, and he's done it ever since I've been here. And so, just uh, man, it's just a pleasure to have him, uh, uh, you know, on our team. I tried to get him. I don't know if you guys saw it. They went to cover two, but if they'd have stayed in man, we we were gonna throw the bump screen and go up the sideline there late, and they went to cover two. But uh, uh, but I was gonna try to get him another long touchdown there and try to get the ball in his hand but I, I just love the kid and the kids love him because they know how hard he plays. Between last week and this game you got better field position starting and some drives because of turnovers generated yes. and some other things. It seemed like that that's a big part of what you Oh there's doing. no doubt the defense man helped us out and it hurt hurt my heart we couldn't convert that that uh, dang um, interception. that interception man you know because that's big and then and then that interception they made to seal the game down there that was just unbelievable special teams our punt returners are getting some now yards and, and when we you know if you look at the stats where you start um, and if you start behind the the 20 or back or whatever the statistics you know it's just unbelievable uh, your chance of scoring is so low uh, but but the farther you get out there and you get one first down man it just you know 
heck puts us in position to be successful. Mm -hmm. You may not try the statue, but I thought the distribution between Eno and uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Floyd. Yeah. Uh, even though he didn't have great numbers, but I thought like he gave the blow for Eno that he needed against yes. the defense like this. Yes, and he had a great week of practice. I think Coach uh, Simon had said to you guys, you know, earlier in the week that, that he made a statement that he feels very comfortable that he's ready to play and, and, and play in a college, a big-time college football game, and he was, and he did a great job. Um, and, you know, it's just a really good one-two punch you know, with those guys, because he's quick, and he's going to bust one here soon, and you'll get the chance to see how fast he really is in the open area. When Nikhil makes that play, does, does it become a common place for you? That's just when you see something. I don't even know what to say, because you can't coach that. You know, everything inside <laughs> me wants to just choke him and yell at him, and then you look at him circle the field, and I'm just shaking my head like, only this guy can do this, right? And then he almost did it again, you know. He's like one guy away from doing it again, but... Uh, I don't know what to say about that because it goes against <laughs> everything you believe in. It's just like when a quarterback throws it back across the field, across his body, you're like, no, 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 yes. You know, it's stuff like that. So, it's just, it's just, play calling because you know which direction he's got to go. Has he become more of a number one for the offense the last few weeks? Uh, yeah, you know, yes, yes. You know, and it, it, I haven't changed really anything. Um, and I don't know exactly why because I we had we have a list of plays this big that all go to him and and I'm highlighting him, I'm trying to call him, we're trying to get the ball into his hands. Sometimes the defense allows us to do that, and sometimes it, it does not. The South has, has been crazy. How does it feel to just know you control your own destiny with three games left? No, it's, I mean, it's all you can ask for with these guys. Like one, two weeks ago, we were in last place and the, the sky was falling, you look up, <laughs> and now we we went out, we, you went. we went. So, I mean, like, come on, man. You know, seven days just changes everything. That's a good lesson to learn in life. It seemed like when it was 21-20, but Huntley had been injured, that if you guys were able to get yes. a, a, a touchdown, which you did, you could maybe take control of the game. Did it feel that way to you Absolutely. at that point of the game? That's what we talked about. You know, I got Manny on the headphones. I said, listen, they're playing with their backup quarterback. All right, we're going to run the football, and we're going to throw some play-action passes, and we're going to go score a touchdown. And if we do, then I think we'll be, you know, you don't ever want to say you're going to win the game, but you're going to be in great shape. And then we ended up going down there, and Nikhil made a great play on that dead uh, dig route off a of play action and actually scored.